here with Ag Aviation Adventures. I thought I'd take a few minutes and go over the GPS with you on how it works. And on the front of the airplane, you've noticed in videos I have this bar with lights on it. So that's my GPS and that tells me where I am in the field. So I've got a field here. You can see the red outline is the field. And actually this building is us. That's our load pad and the runway goes right down the edge of the field. So, Cali gave me a thumb drive, which I've already plugged in, and I've downloaded the field onto my GPS here. If I scroll out, you can see the airplane is me, and if I scroll out a little bit, this is the outline of my field. So that's what I see on the GPS, is just a green outline. And on my stick here, this is how I set my pattern with my thumb on this red button here. What I'll do is lay an A point and a B point. So right now I'm going to go into here and make it simple. And I'm going to set my pattern as back to back. And I will explain that. I'll zoom in just a hair. Okay. So we're going to taxi out here, and this is set up right now so that the edge of the field is going to be kind of near the center of the runway here, or it should be. We'll just kind of see how it works out. All right, so I'm lined up on the runway, and if I taxi down, you can see the airplane is kind of moving there. And right about there, I'm at the very start of the field. So this is just like I'm flying right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button right here. And you can see a little A came up. And that A just means that I set my A point already. So if I just keep on flying down the edge of the field, when I get to the end of it, I will then set my B point. So there's the end of the field. So at that point, I'm going to hit this button again. And you can see all those lines came up. Let me go down here, and I'm going to turn around. And with those lines, I now have numbers showing up on my light bar. All right, so you can see the screen here has a blue line on it. If I zoom out just a little bit, that's my field. And I have all those little gray lines. Those represent my swath. So right now I'm set at 64 feet. So this blue line right here actually will move over 64 feet every time I make a pass. On my light bar, I think it's kind of hard to see. I don't think the video picks it up because of the LEDs and the light bar. But right now I have, on the right side it says R, 9, 8, 7. And what that's telling me is that I need to go to the right 7 feet. Now it says R, 2, because I need to go to the right 2 feet. Right now it says 0. So that means that I am perfectly lined up with that A, B line that I just set. I am perfectly on it right now. If I go to the left a little bit, on the light bar, it now says R2, meaning R, now R3, meaning I need to go back to the right six feet, because now it says R6. So I'm six feet off to the left. Now if I go too far to the right, it now says L5, L6, L7, meaning I need to go to the left seven feet, six feet. Also, in the very center of my light bar, I have LEDs there as well, and those will also move off to the left or move off to the right, showing me that you're getting off your swath, you need to move back. And if I come back down here, you can see that the airplane, zoom in a little bit, the airplane is on the swath there, and you can see that I'm again, approaching that A point that I set earlier. So 
if I want to move around here, you can see that my blue line just moved over one. That's because I clicked it over. And if I continue to do that, each one of those is my next swath. So as I work the field, I will click my blue line over to move me over. And then in my turn, I line up, I follow my GPS, I follow the lights and the numbers to tell me where I need to be in the field so that I'm exactly 64 feet over from my last pass. There are a few different patterns that you can run. This one was just a simple back-to-back, -back, and I may do a video that shows on a piece of paper the different patterns just so you can get an idea of what it is. But uh, yeah, hopefully that kind of clears it up for you guys a little bit. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you are liking the videos, please give them a thumbs up as well as, as subscribe. I would appreciate it. Again, I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures. Fly low and fly fast.